The things that get past your zero second defensive mechanism are gonna be truly dangerous. They're gonna be in your network for months, quarters, or years. We do network detection and response. So to put that in more simple terms, we're kind of like the NTSB flight data recorder. We tell you what's actually happening on your network so you can look back in time and really figure out what happened. As a good example, we had a customer in the last year that was under a, a ransomware demand. And using our technology, they were able to get confidence, not just I think, but I know confidence, of what that attacker had stolen, which was vastly less than that attacker claimed they had, and they turned down the ransomware demand as a result. And you detected this how early on? So we detected it when it was actually happening. Wow. But the, the defenders didn't know that that was happening. They didn't actually find the ransomware attacker when they were live. Oh. This is all after the fact. So they had to look back in time, find out what happened a day, a week, a month, a year ago, and give them the confidence of what happened then, wow. not just what's happening now. Very interesting. Would you say that's what sets you apart from your competitors? Probably the biggest difference from us from a competitive standpoint is that we're actually an open source based company. Mm -hmm. And that's very rare in cybersecurity, but it's rare but very successful. Yes. So if you think about the Snort project that became Sourcefire was acquired by Cisco for 2.7 billion, the Nessus project that became Tenable, currently listed for 5 billion, unfortunately on a different exchange. Mm -hmm. We won't hold that against them. <laughs> uh, you know, we really see ourselves in that next path. And the privilege of that open source community is there the open source users are incredibly elite defenders. These are folks at the web scale tech giants, at the instant response consulting firms that have really been guiding and, and driving the development of the technology for over 20 years. And what sort of trends are you seeing right now in the cybersecurity sector? Well, I think the biggest trend here at RSA, of course, is artificial intelligence. Yes. Uh, I was taking bets on whether there would be at least 20 AI <laughs> announcements. No one took the under on that. It's wildly, <laughs> wildly over. Uh, but actually, we think it's a wonderful force for cyber that everyone should be using. And I'd say two things on that. First. We were amazed even earlier this year that our own customers were already using it. And they were using it to accelerate, you know, context, understanding, and investigation workflows. Mm -hmm. And when we saw that happening, we immediately uh, got in touch with OpenAI and kind of integrated their technology into our products to do exactly those things. Amazing. And what would you like investors to know? I think the unusual thing about us that's not obvious and investors should be aware of is that we're this unique blend of great growth. We're actually the fastest growing player at scale in our category, and but bizarrely low risk because we serve such a high-end customer base that if you look at the core financial metrics around gross retention, net dollar retention, overall burn, path to profitability, we look really attractive there as well. So this combination of growth but low, but really low risk mm -hmm. is a unique position and it's because of the open source heritage and that high-end customer base, mm -hmm. right? That's where it comes together. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Trinity. Appreciate Absolutely. the time.